Today's Food for Thought comes from the first chapter of 1 Peter verses 6 and 7 which reads, In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. You and I, though we are tried today, we rejoice. We rejoice because we have the victory over sin. Through Christ, we are delivered from this world unto everlasting life. This deliverance is what we call salvation. In salvation, there is hope. In salvation, there is joy. Hope and joy of salvation, you should understand, it is power to all of those that genuinely believe in the life, the death, and the resurrection of Christ. Sadly, so many of us, we undervalue and we do not appreciate the power that we have in the hope and in the joy of our salvation. Yet, I tell you today that the promise of our eternal inheritance, that eternal happiness, that eternal peace and joy should always push us forward to looking ahead to the better tomorrow. Scripture does not hide the fact that we are going to have tribulation in the world. Jesus spoke of the fact that we're going to have struggle in this world because we who are of faith, we are no longer of this world. Yet, though we may have our struggles, we should understand that our time in this world is like a grain of sand dropping in that hourglass. We are afflicted and we are grieved, but just for a little bit. Those tribulations, they will soon pass. As the psalm says, Weeping may endure for a night, but there is the guaranteed promise of joy coming in the morning. So I encourage you to always live in that joy of salvation. When you live in that joy, you are living in true power and you will overcome every obstacle that you face on your journey.